Eels are incredible fish and they're shrouded in mystery. In fact, we've already covered them once in this series if you want to watch that video above my head. But in the meantime, one of the most common myths about them is can they move over land at night, say from a river to get to a new pond? Do they actually do that? European eels have a slender and slimy serpentine body, so as far as fish go, they could at least practically move over land. Certainly elvers, the young of eels, will move over damp rocks and walls to get upstream, and during their spring migration, it's not uncommon to see them leave the water and move in the margins. They do this to avoid fast flows, but why would an eel move from a river to a lake or a pond? The simple answer is when they're in the freshwater phase, they want to find new feeding grounds to grow as big as possible before heading out to sea again, and an isolated pond is likely to have less competition. So we know that eels can survive out of water as long as the ground is damp for prolonged periods, but is there any evidence of them making it from one water body to another? Eels do certainly turn up in some weird and strange places. Normally though, there is some kind of watery route, whether it's a nearby river, stream, or even a damp ditch. As long as there's some kind of pathway, they'll use it. The idea that an adult eel would willingly leave the water and become completely exposed to predation seems a bit far-fetched to me. The most likely cause for eels in lakes and ponds are flooding, birds eating them and regurgitating them, or in some cases, a helping hand from people. European eels are incredible creatures and adaptable to many challenges. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this vid, why not check out some of the other videos on the channel of wildlife and fishy content. I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers.